today, 1st September, we got only less than four months before the end of the year. Even though the Muslims, we have our own calendar, which is Muharram. It's already passed. It's already passed. That is the Islamic calendar. But when you come to the Gregorian calendar, that calendar, the Western calendar, that is the one normally we used. So on the Western calendar that we used, we are in the 1st September. 1st September today, October, November, December, we got less than four months before the end of the year. So this is what you need to put in your mind. Huh? Stop doing what you did and concentrate on doing good. If you, if you keep on doing what you do, negativity, or not having a vision or a goal or an aim, you will continue doing what you do to the rest of your life. So this is what it is. How old are you right now? Your age is increasing. Your age is increasing. So the more your age is increasing, the more diminish you are diminishing in your life. So calculate it in this way. From January to now, this in September 1st, we, the Muslims, we, the Muslims of Ghana, what did we achieve? What did we do? What did you do? If you keep on doing anything positive or you start doing something positive from that January to the September 1st, which means you are progressing, even though maybe you could not achieve that goal to the what? Equilibrium. This is what you need to put in your mind. As you may know, or all of us may know, we have our project going on, which is the first Islamic school for the blind. That first Islamic school for the blind, a lot of people got in their mind, are also the non-Muslims welcome? Yes, the non-Muslims are welcome into that school. It is the same as Islamic school for all the Islamic school you see in the country. All the Islamic university you see, but you may see or you may see people attending that school who are not Muslims. But the school is controlled by Muslims. So we the Muslims, we have a project which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with. That is the Islamic school for the blind. So on ours, on we the 21st century, this is our time. Please make sure you share this program to all the people around. Make sure when you come to the project of this Islamic school project, don't scroll down without sharing. By you sharing, by you supporting, you are helping the cause of Allah. When you share and someone also seen it and he donated, and you also donated your, a little bit of yours, then the project will progress. We cannot achieve our goal, aim, and vision with this project without you supporting, without you donating, without you sharing the videos. We cannot. I myself, I cannot do it. If I can do it myself, I will never come on social media to seek fun for us to do it. Also, bear in mind, whenever you are donating or you are supporting, don't say you are going to support or you are going to donate or you are going to give or you are going to share this video because of me. Don't do that. If you do this, you lost your reward from Allah. Do it because of, for the sake of Allah. Because you want to be rewarded by Allah's one or Allah. Do it for the sake of Islam. Do it in such a way that our children 
can have an Islamic school for the blind to attend in Ghana. So they can have time for Quran and Sunnah. Do it for that sake. That is the same way, a vice versa. Even if you don't like we, the peace dawah, you are not doing it because of we. You are doing it for the sake of Allah. So Allah will reward you. So a lot of people, we have a go find me going on. There is a go find me. Right now, if you could look at, it is four days now when we created the go find me. But the donation on GoFindMe, it's not coming like before. Right now on GoFindMe, we only have less than $2,000. And I know you can do better, those in abroad. Take this advantage, use this advantage. Donate to the GoFindMe. Wherever you are in abroad, you can donate to the GoFindMe. Wherever you are. Donate. The button is here. The page is here. Donate through the GoFindMe. Those who want to donate through the mobile money, 0548-934-500. 0548-934-500. The name on it is Mustafa Ibrahim MTN. You donating, you are also supporting the cause of Allah. Each and every day on this social media, Whatever something happened in Ghana, and we the Muslims always say, because we don't have, we need to have this. We need to have Islamic university. We need to have our clinic. We need to have our madrasa. We need to have. We cannot have it with our mouth. We have it with us spending our money. Those missionaries, those Christians, those other religions, this is how they did before they, they get everything in their community. They did not sit there by going to church only. They did not sit there by going to, by attending church only. No, but rather, they put money together to start infrastructures, to start infrastructures, a lot of things in their community. We can also do the same thing. They have a blood. We have blood. They work and make money. We work and make money. They want to go to wherever. They want God to bless them. We also want God to bless us. So why don't we also do the same thing that they are doing? Please make sure you share the program. If you are here, share the program for the sake of Allah. Don't forget to share. So don't be on this page. Each and every day we are doing program. All what we are doing is we are doing a fundraising for the support of First Islamic School for the Blind. You can also support yours. Don't be a what? Uh, don't be a miser. Don't be a POP or a miser by ignoring the cause of Allah because you don't know tomorrow. No one knows tomorrow. Your family may be affected by blindness. My family can be affected by blindness or dumb or deaf. Do we have an Islamic school in Ghana where we take disabilities? We don't have it. The whole Ghana, we don't have. All the Islam, all the disability schools in Ghana were controlled by the missionaries. So we need to also have hours where our kids can learn Quran and Sunnah, where they feel safe to pray. So how can we have it if we put a blind eye on this project? How can we do that? How? We talk without action. A talking without action, we cannot achieve our aim. Bear in mind and look at it this way. We discovered this problem two years ago. When we discovered this problem two years ago, 
where the blind Muslims go to the missionary schools. Later on, they turn to become other faiths. So we came on social media and we said, we can also build Islamic school for the blind. Then we raise fan. We have the money. We have a land in Accra. We have a land in Kumasi. But now, the one in Accra is the one the project is starting. We started the project in Accra. Each and one of us here saw what we did. That is a great job. We did the short cutting and we started the project. In two months, within two months to three months, you see how we are. We spent over 1 billion Ghana cities to start the project. Over 1 billion Ghana cities to start this project. We start the foundation and now we raise the blocks. Now it is time to put the pillars and decking and then flow. Build another four classroom upstairs up. We have two, four classrooms down, four classrooms up. Are you not happy about what we are doing? Were you not happy how you see this product moving? Did you donate? If yes, add more. Let the birra atta to fikuna mato a bone. I don't like sometimes when I am doing a donation, a fundraising to bring you Aya and Addis because you already know this Aya and Addis. The rest is action. Are you not proud of yourself? Are you not happy what you have been seeing? How the pictures that you see, the videos, the proof, your money goes to the way we talk about. Are you not happy? There are a lot of people who bring a project in our community. People who donate, but you don't even see anything. But look at this project. We are trying our best to make sure this project get to the higher level where we want to, to be. And you donating this, this is Seneca to Jaria. You may die one day and you are in your grave. You even forget you donated to a what? Islamic school. Now you are getting your reward whilst people are reciting Quran inside. You are getting a, your reward. Are you not happy? If you donated during the purchase of the land, if you donated during the phase one of the project, that is the last time we came, or you donated today, donate another one. The GoFundMe is very slow. We put the same amount, $10,000, but we have not even get to $2,000. Now, and this project, we did not call any Arab to support. It is only you, we, I and you are doing it. And when we finish this project, we can be proud of ourselves that we can do much project better than this. Better than this. So I am urging you, this is an advice from your brother, for the sake of Allah, share the program, donate to the GoFindMe, donate to the mobile money, 0548-934500. Mustafa Ibrahim. Support the project. Tell your people about this project. Don't ignore. You see what is going on on this page. So I'm urging you for the sake of Allah. To support this project for the sake of Allah. Donate for the sake of Allah. Allah will bless you. You will need, you will need a child. You will need papers in abroad. You will need job. You need peace of mind. You need good life. Donate and tell Allah and Allah will bless you on that. So I think I'll start from here.
Ishama Allah. May Allah reward you all. May Allah bless you all. Don't forget to support. Don't forget to donate for the sake of Allah. Don't forget to share the program. Don't forget to also donate any amount you have. Allah has blessed you with life. He has blessed you with money. Let's support for the cause of Allah. We all know how hard it is now. But we can do a little bit better. If all of us on this page will donate just a single amount from what Allah has blessed us, we can push this project to move. I know all of you, a lot of you here. I see your names, but I'm not going to mention names. I just want you to donate. That is all. Support and let's keep more moving. The mobile money, we have not got to 100 million yet. The, more, the go find me, we have not even got to $2,000 yet. Who will give Allah $1,000, $500, $200, $100? You are going to die and leave this money. You came alone and you go alone. So before you go, make sure you have something where that thing can give you a reward whilst you are in your grave. Do you know the reason why I'm always on this social media supporting less privilege, doing things for the cause of Allah, doing all this project, water project, orphans, helping the, the less privileged and sick ones, doing the Islamic school for the blind? Because nothing lasts forever. And no one knows tomorrow. And everything has an end. Now it is time people listen to us on social media. Do you think it will stay like this? No way. It will come to a time on this social media. Nobody even care about this page. Now there is something different. A page different came, which is much better than us. You may all go because peace our media is not doing like before. As you may see, you see what is going on in our community. But I keep mute. Why? There are certain things we pass that. We want to concentrate on good cause. We don't have time for, to waste our energy on, 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 on something that doesn't concern us anymore. We don't do that anymore. I have a lot of things to do. I have a family to take care of. I don't have time for arguments. We don't have time for insults. We don't have time to waste our energy on unnecessary things, we have time for something impact, something that can benefit the community. That is the meaning of social media. So I'm sorry. Whenever you see anything happen on our community and you don't hear peace dawah from it, we are sorry. Peace dawah, we pass that. We have a project going on. People are suffering in our community. We need Islamic school for the blind. We need Islamic school for the deaf. We need Islamic school for the dumb. People in the villages cannot get water to drink. The sick ones are crying, looking for money for medical. And instead of me to waste my energy on something that doesn't concern me, that does something that will not get me any reward from Allah, I will never do it again. I'm done. I'm always now focusing on something that I can have a reward from Allah. Because Allah gave me a last chance. I may be up. I, we, some of us may be in, even on our grave by now. But Allah spare us and give us another chance. So don't use that chance to waste your time. The chance Allah gave you, use it wisely. And tomorrow is no promise either. People listen to you now. There is a downfall for, of anybody in this world. That's why you can see the up and downfall of Kwame Nkurma, the up and downfall of Mandela, the up and downfall of J.J. Rawlings, the up and downfall of Gaddafi. You can hear all the big, big leaders. So you remember, you may not be a champion each and every day. You may not be a somebody that people listen to you each and every day. There may some people will come soon. So the time that you have where people are listening to you, 
use that time wisely. Use it now one day when people don't hear me again on social media, when people don't pay attention to me, I use the time wisely by building what? We use the time. We, we use our time by building Islamic school for the blind. That alone, I, we look at it, we use the time wisely. We use the time to build, what do you call it? Water well for people to drink. That alone is okay. So you can be proud of yourself at your era, at your time. This is what you did. We all have to do that because we are growing each and every day. Your age is increasing. The more you increase, the more you become humble. The more your life is changing. Anybody who is above 40 years and he couldn't change his mind to a good cause, that is a problem. Because even God, he will give the prophet a prophecy when they get to 40 years. When you are above 40 and you are still fooling, you will fool for the rest of your life. When you are above 40 and you are still fooling, you will fool for the rest of your life. Because a grown man, a fool also grow. A fool also grow. So there's a lot of grown people, men people you see in our community. They are fools, some of them. I'm sorry. Because a fool also grow. So when you are above 40, you need to watch how you, your steps, how you talk, how you move your life. Because you are diminishing. So a lot of people may see certain things going on in our community and you don't hear from me. I'm grown. I don't have to sit where I am. I have to go forward. So I move forward a little bit. I have to get a little bit steps. How old I am? How old are you? Don't you know you are looking at your grave very soon? We are looking at our grave very soon. So don't waste your time that Allah has blessed you with. Wal asr, the time, by the time. Illa al insana la fil usr. By the time. Clap, clap, clap. The time is moving. If you waste your time, you don't get up and get a job and stop building yourself, having an aim, vision, and goal. People at the lower bottom, they will come and pass you. And then after that, you will become an envier of people who are succeed. Because at the time people are trying their best to succeed in life, you wasted that time doing foolishness. Doing unnecessary things. So this is the time. When you are young, this is the time. Get up. Start doing something. Buy land. When you have money, buy a land. Buy a land. Start building house. Start building mosque. Do infrastructure. Open up jobs. Start getting something. Because by the time you get to 65, you cannot work anymore. 70, you cannot work. You need to retire. If, even if you get to that age. Because maybe by the 50, 55, you are about to die. By the time you get to 50, 50 something, you have a, your own house where you can sleep. You have a family where you're taking care of them. You have a business which brings you money. This is how you have to plan your life from now. Do it now. Start. If you don't start and you see people progressing in the year future, don't get envy. Don't say they are, they are doing criminal things to get their money. Because the time people are trying their best to make sure they have something, you are sleeping. You are sleeping. Don't sleep. I'm always advising you. Get up. Find a job. Don't wait, even if you are in Africa. Don't wait and say, uh, if you go to abroad before. A lot of people, before they even come to abroad, they, they, they buy their own land. They start up building something. Otherwise, you're going to be fighting for inheritance. Each and every day, you'll be fighting in your community because of inheritance.
because of something that your father or grandfather or great great grandfather left you will fight on one bedroom and kill yourself in your community if you don't get up from now you need to start from now when you have yours you don't care about anything that your father or your mother left any property you don't care about that even though it is your right to have the property but when you have yours you don't care about the property of anybody get up i'm advising you each day we are very young and we started building ourselves at the young age in ashanti region ask they will tell you we started building ourselves business when we are very young if you don't start from now by the time you get to 55 you are finished you cannot do nothing get up from now get up if you are living abroad do something about your life if you don't do something now the youth are growing the youth are coming they will come and pass you they will come and pass you and you will become an envier you cannot live. You cannot live in peace because you don't have nothing. It is Allah who is blessed, who bless people with good halal risk. And Allah bless us with halal risk. But if you don't get up now and start building yourself now and you say tomorrow, tomorrow is no promise. Now you are young. You are 25. 30, 35. Huh? By the time you get to 45 to 50, you need to have your own house. You need to have your own, uh, your own business. You need to own your own apartment. You need to own your own business. You need to own family. You need to have a family. You need to start enjoying life before death take you. If you don't do that, you will sit in your community each and every day begging people for something to eat because you did not plan from the bottom because you did not plan from the bottom because at the time the people are trying find, to find a job to try to to build property to try to support less privilege to try to you are there using your social media stupidity you are there using your life stupidity wasting time each time that you wasted, it will never come back. A time that you wasted, it will never come back. It is a neighbor. It is a chance that Allah has blessed you with. Use it now. If you have a social media platform, use that social media platform wisely. Or else, one day, when people use this wisely, you will become an envier. If you are working in abroad, start buying some land in Africa to start building. Slowly, slowly, you will achieve your goal. Or else, you cannot go to Africa. You will always stay in abroad because you could not achieve anything back home. So when you come back home, you don't have anything. Those people even at home or those new burgers who came are benefiting, are building houses, are supporting less privilege, are doing business and you don't have nothing. So you feel ashamed to even go back home. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with a good risk, halal risk. Find a job. Start building yourself. Support the first Islamic school for the blind. If you don't support it, People will support and one day you will see the project move on and you will cry. You will feel bad that you never support it. Let us use this opportunity. Let us come together. Let us come together. Divide a rules is no more. Division in our community should be abolished. If we don't come up together and start building good madrasa and start building clinics and start building infrastructures in our community in a year to come we will cry like babies but the time is now the youth 
you can do better. I always advise you, one day, one day, you will look for me with a torchlight, even in the daytime. And that by the time I'm gone, I went back to my maker. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the successful one before we depart this world. I'm telling you, build yourself. Time past will never come back again. The time you are wasting, it will never come back again. We are in the first September, less than three months, less than four months to the end of the year. What did you do? What did you achieve from January to now? What did you achieve? What did you do? Did you have an aim, goal, vision? Did you achieve something from January to now? What did you do in your life? If you did something great, champion. If you did not, start now before the end of the year. Because the year is skipping, 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 skipping. If you don't do it now, you will cry one day. You will become an envier in your community because people are progressing. So use your life wisely, baby. Use your life wisely, baby. Tomorrow is no promise. You are, you are having kids now. What is your plan for your kids for their future? What is your plan for their future? You have one, two, three, four, five. Who is going to take care of them? What is the business you put together that will bring money to take care of your family? And you still keeping, you still giving babies. Who is going to take care of them? Do you have any business that to take care of your kids? Are you working to take care of your kids? God bless you. If not, go and find a job. Every year you have a baby, but you don't take care of them. Who is going to take care of them? They will become Yaram Banga. They will become Amir Robes. And Allah will ask you. You cannot take care of them because you cannot go, you cannot find them a better school to go. And they are growing up. They are growing up. So I'm advising you. Try your best to use your life wisely. Don't waste each single hour without doing a good deed. For your life, for your ire. If you don't do it now, you will be in Zongo community one day crying. Don't depend on your father's property. Don't depend on your mother's property. Don't depend on anybody's property. Start building yours. Start doing something for your life. Tomorrow is no promise. Tomorrow is no promise. If you don't start now, one day you will be in your community fighting because of one bedroom property in your house. Because you did not Try your best to achieve your aim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can will never give you money. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never do anything to you until you also get up and then Allah will support you. If you sleep in your mosque, now go to Ghana. Ah, oh, the masjid. People have a what? A bench, a chair. Most of the masjid becomes a what? A base. A base of attire. People just sit there gossiping, doing nothing. Some of the mosque, not all of them do. You will sit in the mosque each and every day without going to find a job to do to take care of your family, to take care of yourself, to also support your community project. You will sit there each and every day. Time is flying. Those who are trying to go and make ends meet, trying their best to get money, when Allah bless them, you will become an envier because you did not try to also try to do that. You understand the point I am making? If you understand it, it is up to you. Try your best to achieve something in your life before death takes you. That is all.
You are family. If you are, if, even if you don't have no family, you are going to get married. What type of job do you do that now you are adding a wife to yourself? How can you take care of her? And the wife will come, that is you and the wife. You will have a baby. You have three, four, five. How can you take care of them if you don't start building yourself now? Build yourself. Time is flying. Islamic school for the blind is of course. Try your best to donate to the Islamic school. Try your best to tell your friends to support the Islamic school for the blind. Each and every day in Ghana, we don't have, we don't have, we keep on saying. Now we have. Mouth mouth talking will never solve a problem until we start to do the action. How can we do the action? By supporting with our money. Did you support? Add more. Did you do it? Add more for more reward. For the sake of Allah. Not for the sake of me. Don't say, don't think you are giving me a favor. No, but rather, you are giving yourself a favor. Try to also even, try your best to also even pray for me. Why? Because I am trying to save you from hellfire. I'm telling you to do a good deed with your money. Not those people who will tell you to bring your money to do some stupid thing or other people who tell you don't donate, don't do, don't do this. Call Allah Ta'ala. أَرَأَيْتَ الَّذِي يُكَذِّبُ بِالدِّينِ فَذَلِكَ الَّذِي يَدْعُوا الْيَتِيمُ وَلَا يَؤْدُوا عَلَى طَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينِ فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاءُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَاعُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَاعُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَاعُونَ Don't let people misguide you from getting the reward. Those type of people, Allah already brought an ayah for them. They are not, those people will not donate even people are donating, they don't like it. They don't want people to support the poor or the miskin. They don't want to do anything. They are also telling people not to do it. This is our right unless you can zibu be dead. Try your best in your life before you die. You make something. You see the life Allah has gave you. It is not free. Allah will ask you for each ni'mah that he has blessed you with. Wa amma bi ni'mati rabbika fa'addis. Any name that Allah has blessed you with, you can tell people, no problem. But summa latus alunna, yoma is an anin naim. Allah will ask you for each name that He has blessed you with. Allah will ask you about it. Please, for the sake of Allah, support the Islamic school for the blind. This is just a reminder for me and you together. Rabbana atina fi dunya asana wa fil akhirati asana tawakina adhaban nar Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad fi lahana mina inna ka amidu al-majid subhana rabbika rabbi hizati amma yusufun wa salam ala al-musallin wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin thank you for coming, thank you for sharing if you did not share, make sure you share peace our media salam alaykum